going to show you some modifications I've done to my 4x6 bandsaw. This model is made by Jet, but there's a lot of them out there. They all use about the same casting, so you should be able to use this, use these ideas for any model that you have. One of the first modifications, just this stand. It's made by with 2x4s running uh, three inch casters, raises the height about seven inches, which actually makes it a little bit easier to use. But they're all swivel. You can put it wherever you want it. It makes a big difference over the factory stand. The next thing is a custom work stop. This one's a lot longer. Uh, the half inch rod here is 16 inches long. And this piece here is factory, but I welded this on. Gives you a lot more area to hit, especially smaller things. And this is squared with the machine. Easily adjust it, just like the factory. And then it comes out, of course. When you don't need the work stop, it comes off and you just put it right in the bottom stand. This is one of the most useful things. Added this. On the factory, it was just a small little piece and you can't really use it in the vertical position on that. So this is the biggest that would possibly fit without any clearance issues with closing or with various other things that you need to cut in the horizontal position. So this is four inch by four inch, three sixteenths. And I use it all the time for cutting pieces. There's, there's enough area there where you can use this for just about anything you want to cut freehand in the vertical position. You can see in the closed position how to angle that side so the machine would still come down and hit the switch and, and close correctly. But there's, there's really no clearance issue with cutting anything in that horizontal position. Next thing is this handle. Factory is a small little uh, turn handle wheel that's just so slow and you see how much travel there is if you needed to change angles or put something larger in there it would just take forever with a hand crank. With this there's enough weight where you can spin it so you can quickly get the vise open but larger things change the angle. Works really well. Uh, it's half inch round bar sticks out about seven inches about 17 and a half inches wide. It's just enough weight. It's just long enough. Uh, it makes a big difference in speed. Another modification with the vise. From the factory you had to adjust this with using tools. It was very slow. It was you had to put a ratchet on the bottom and then something on the top as well. So I welded this rod on here. This is stainless, it's just half inch. So this way I can easily tighten up. And then for clearance, no problem, this comes out. And then the bottom, I welded a T-handle right under here. So I can just bend over a little bit, unlock that, and then this whole thing moves very easily. And then you just lock it back in position, and you're done. And then that works with the handle, which quickly moves the vise after you move that. Another modification, just added these little marks here. Just quick adjustment, visual, changing the angles from above. You don't have to look at the side. And I just used straight edge and a little electric engraver. So you can quickly change 45, anything you need, and then go back to zero very easily. One other tip, if you want to check the squareness of your vise to your blade, this is a little 
plastic square that came with a miter box. It fits perfectly, especially if you have this piece extended all the way, you can't get a normal square in there. Works really well on these saws. If you're cutting something short that doesn't go all the way into the vise, try to tighten it down and it does that. Simple solution is just drill and tap a hole and add a rod. I think this one's probably 5 16ths. So you thread that in, the width of the piece that you're trying to clamp down, spreads the load, you can tighten it down, no problem. And I added a, a lock nut on the back so I can use an impact if it is extended real far because it is kind of slow to get that out. One of the biggest reasons people have for these, uh, complaining that these saws do not cut straight is the blade. And I've tried all different blades. You get what you pay for. Uh, these are on the higher end. These are Linux Diemaster 2s. They seem to last forever. The blade, uh, the saw cuts so much straighter with this blade. I can put a link below. I usually get these at uh, MSC. With the times when I really need a lot more room to do some cutting. This is a 14 inch square surface that screws on same as this piece, but gives you a heck of a lot more room to cut on. And there's a little support underneath that folds up uh, just just so it's not resting totally on those screws. I don't need it all that much, but it's a nice thing to have. It's an eighth of an inch thick. Works really well when you need it. Have any other ideas for modifications, maybe things you've done to your own saw? Post them in the comments below. Thanks.